Okay, I am just about set up here. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Hey, I'm always doing something, right? Okay, Worlds of Wonder, ISBN. It is a current Amazon product. I do have my light on to help us out a little bit today. Um, I have some of this painter's tape that I got from Tim Yu. Um, it feels a bit stickier than what our normal expensive painter's tape would be. So I am putting it on my jeans and then peeling it back up and it gets rid of some of that stickum. And then I am going to come in here and just put this down around there. I'm going on that black line. Something I have already done is I have come in with some mask masking stuff here. Okay. So it's a liquid masking material and just use an old paintbrush when you put it on. And I have used this before on a video. So you can go back and look that up. If you can't find it, let me know. And I will um, help you out there. So, all right, there. I, was, I felt like I was whispering because I was concentrating. So what I want to do is I've come and mixed these two colors. Now these are from King Art. These are their gel sticks. So they're kind of comparable to um, gelatos, not the ice cream, but the um, color sticks. So I've taken some and put out right here and I've blended. I just took some, put it on my mat, blended. The more you work with these, kind of the softer it gets just because the heat of the friction of working with them. That may or may not be enough. So as I start this project of coming around, then, oh, let me back up. Where did I use this? I used this on all these little bits that are still sticking out. Okay, that's where I used it. Because normally I don't get right up close to a background. I, um... I normally leave a little border, but this time I actually want to get really close. And if you hang out till the end of the video, I'm going to show you another um, finished picture from um, one of the books that I just recently reviewed. So I'm going to get some on here. Now, when you're afraid you might run out, the thing to do is go ahead and do some here and then pick up and do some over here. The thing you want to do is skip around, okay? That way, if you do run out, and I need something under there, under the edge, so I don't go on to my other page. Um, yeah, the thing is, if you run out, you don't want to be like halfway through the picture. You want it to be skipped around so that when you add more, you can't tell where you were. Does that make sense? It'll just help it look a little bit more unified. So if I put a different shade in one place, then I'm going to have it in another place also. But I want it to be evenly dispersed. I don't know that I'm making sense. So let's say I ran out of the color right now. I have it in different places. So when I add it again in different places, it's going to cohesively make the piece look better. Maybe that's a better explanation for it. Okay, I've got some in there. There we go. Now I'm finally getting it on here. I just decided that I wanted to get a close color to that, but not exactly the same. And so I went to mixing. Okay. 
There we go. And it looks like I am going to have enough. So now I'm just going to come in and really go at it. Really push it down into the paper. If you get it down into the paper really good, then you're probably not going to need to come back and seal it with anything. And I don't want to rub so hard that I rub my Fixum stuff off, but I do want to get it down in there. This book is already released right here. I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't been that uh, rough on it, but maybe a little rougher than I thought. There we go. Just get that color in there. Now, if you're looking at this page and you're thinking, well, wait a minute, my page in my book didn't look like that. Um, I did take a black marker and I did this area here and that outer ring. Just went over it with a black marker. Just decided that that's what I wanted to do. So, just really trying to change things up in our coloring so that every page isn't always just the same, you know? And if there's anything I missed with this, I'll come back in with an eraser and erase what I can. And what I cannot erase, I won't worry about it because I'm probably going to use like gel pens for some of these really skinny areas. And that should go right over top. Now, something I'm going to do to help make this look better with this. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Now, I am darker at the top. You can't tell it really. And lighter at the bottom. So I'm going to come in here. And just add some of that on the top. You're thinking, well, does it stick on top of the pencils? Um, it does pretty well, because when I do that, smush my fingers across, I'm getting some, but not a lot. And I can definitely feel it. There's a softness to it. So now I am going to take some of the darker stick, put it out here. I'm going to come and load with my lighter shade and then dip into that darker shade and I'm going to hit the corners. I usually like my colors being my corners, not my colors, my corners being just a smidge darker because it does lead your eye out. So, and that really looks to me like a better color anyway. So coming again, mixing up some of the, picking up some of that lighter, going into the darker, and then coming over to the corner. It just kind of frames your piece up some. Push my paper all the way in. Come get this corner. Oops, I need some more of it. Don't be afraid to put more out there. In fact, for y'all that have um, been with me since I got the King's Art gel sticks, um, you remember I mixed some up a page or two back, and I had some left over, and we weren't quite sure how that was going to be long run, if it was really going to get saved or if it would dry up. So I want to tell you that I have been able to use it. Um, I thought it was laying right here. Well, I know it's somewhere around here close because I just used it the other day. So here it is. So it has not dried up yet, okay? These are little containers that I got eons ago at Michael's, but um, no, at Target in the dollar spot. But if you'll look around, you can still find, and see, I'm going to wipe the extra off before I store it. Um, you can find little containers in your craft store or Dollar Tree. Just know that Dollar Tree is not a dollar anymore. So, okay, so there's that. And these are from Tim Mew. If anybody wants the link for that, ask me, and I can give you that. If I can remember, I will give you the link for these from um, 
King Art. And again, it's the gel sticks. And when you use my link, you're going to get 10% off. Okay. And to show you again which set I got, it's these. So there's this package. And they came together in a box. And this package. And for me, it's been plenty of colors. Would I like the bigger sets? Sure, who wouldn't? But I'm just letting you know that just those are enough that I'm able to mix. Now, uh, let's clean this off. I try to clean up as I go so I don't end up with a huge mess later. I've got everything in arm's length and I just find it easier. Now we're going to see how this tape did. There we go. When you put the tape on, it's going to be, now see I tore the paper right there a little bit because of that fixative probably. Oops, I'm still tearing it. So um, come back at it the other direction. There we go, that should cure what's what's happening there. Yep, all good. Um, when you put this on, it's gonna be straight here and rippled here because of turning that edge. And the other thing, if you'll lay this down to peel it off, you will get less rippage, okay? Same thing when you're painting a wall. If you're using painter's tape and you get ready to peel it off, fold it back on itself and that way you won't have your layers of um, paint coming up with it. And I just, anytime I use it on paper, I try not to leave it on the paper any longer than I have to. Because you will get some ripping going on. And see, I got some right there. Now, what I will do for this piece is I will go ahead and color this and this. And then put just a dot of glue there, smush it down, and you'll never know. All right, so a little tidbit there. All right, um, and there, now you can see what I've got going on. So I am happy with the effects of that uh, with the light off. Okay, gives you a little bit different look there. Let's go in and let's look at what we've got going on here. So this... is that blue stuff that I put on in the bottle. Can you see how it's just coming off? You just rub and it's just coming off and it's leaving the white underneath of the paper. And it takes a few minutes to paint it on there, but to me it's worth it because when I'm going around the outside, there we go, when I'm going oops, around the outside with the um, colors, I'm not having to be super careful. See, like here I, I did a lot. But see, now my picture's white underneath. So it'll be easy now to color. Now, anywhere it didn't quite get up to the edge, I can come back with a colored pencil and just Put that in there okay so there we go and you can see the black that I did with the marker both rows going around there whoops don't tear that up yet all right I have some stuff oh that's where I was mixing it see that's another reason I like to clean up as I go get that all over me Okay, so, um, oh, for you that hung out and have stayed, yeah, it's a short video, but you got to see what I wanted to show you. I just wanted that whole page to be in those blues, the blue-greens, okay? And I can still come back, like I said, with pencils and add to that, and it would be fine. Now, the other book that I've been working in is... Wonderful Little World, and let's see, 
done two pages in here now, and we were working on windows last time, and there's that page finished off. And I did use the same gel sticks for the yellow, the blue, and the yellow green at the bottom. Yeah, I have been happy with those. So again, if you'll follow my link that's down below in the description, you'll be able to get 10% off of most items that are sold by King Art. So be sure and use that link. All right. Yeah, and there's a password, um, Pam Proctor 10 in, um, well, it's not a password, it's code. And I'll have that down in the description too. It's Pam Proctor 10. And that gets you the 10% off. So anyway, but yeah, follow the link. And um, I will see you all in a few days. Okay, bye-bye.